Now let's move on to the second iterator. How do you create an iterator for a linked list? So now the difference between an array and a linked list, with a linked list, then there's no guarantee that your elements will be at <coughs> contiguous memory location, right? Because that's how it works. So now with the linked list, we know that begin must return the first element in my, in my array, okay? So I'm using ND, node, node zero, node one, node three, node two, node, node three, okay? So this linked list basically holds four items, okay? But we do have an extra item at the beginning and we do have an extra item at the end. Why? As you can see from here, in order to return N or to return RN, we need an imaginary item, okay? For an array, because we know that the locations of my array elements are contiguous, then I can just simply return the address of the array plus a number, which is to the end of my array, okay? Or my array minus one to get to, get to the to the uh, address to the left of my array, okay? But we cannot do a plus one, we cannot do a minus one on a linked list, okay? So then the trick is we need to create two imaginary items. So the first imaginary item is here, and the second imaginary item is there, okay? So when you, when you call begin, begin will give you the address of that item, okay? But when you call R end, or no, sorry, end, when you call end, you, will, you need to give the, a valid address. Because we cannot do plus one, right, for a linked list, then end will give you the address of the last imaginary item. Okay? Any question about the design? Why we have to do add two extra imaginary elements? Yes, um, Eddie. We could, you could still use one imaginary element around. I mean, but to find, like, say if we have an imaginary element for n, mm -hmm. but we could find begin doing, like, previous or next, but that would be a whole operation. <coughs> so avoid that, do we have two Yeah, things? yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. So then we want to do it like an O1, O1. Right. yeah. Okay, so we don't want to do make it an O N. We want to make it an O one exactly. Okay, so now we know that the first imaginary item will be used when you return R N, right? Because for reverse iterator, you need to return uh, the uh, the address of the first imaginary item. Okay. Yes, this is the link place because you see the two pointers, right? Now uh, let me. Uh, Switch to the other handout. You know how to design a list in Java, and if you remember from 163, we do need to inst uh, create a, an inner class, right? The inner class will be the inner class for each node, okay? And I do have the list uh, class, which is the uh, outer class, and assuming this is like a generic class, Z, okay? <laughs> So now you see the corresponding design in C++. If you see the code in Java <coughs> like that, the corresponding design in C++ will be like this. And when I instantiate a list, so what you will see here is an empty list, right? How does it look like? So an empty list, basically, you have the head pointer and you have the tail pointer and now uh, and you have the, the two imaginary elements. Okay, so that's how we set up. And if you look at the code, that's what we need to do. My code is not complete. I, I don't, I'm running out of space here. I need to initialize the previous. I need to initialize the, uh, I, don't, I don't have the initialization for previous uh, yet there. But basically that's the design. Now, how do I place a new item at the end? So now let me switch to Xcode. Yeah, let's complete my uh, pushback here. So then you know later how to write your pop front. So pushback is to add an item to the end of the list, right? So let's say if I already have uh, several items in here, so I want to insert S after K. So how do I insert S into my list? I need to instantiate a, no a node first, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to insert, insert a node. 
Okay? So now I have the node for S, and then I need to place the item. Okay? Into the data portion, right? So how do you link up? How do you link up my S to the rest of the Okay, keep going. What is your name again? Chris. Chris, keep going. Uh, pr previous is uh, just an instance variable. So previous and next are up here. So previous and next is part of the node, right? So my node is here. Okay. So you okay. Do, would you do tail dot previous dot okay. next? Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 Tail uh, previous next equals s. Yep. And then like that. So tail that previous that next, you're changing the next of k, right? So this is your changing the next of k, isn't it? Are you with me? Tail, tail is pointing to the last imaginary item. From there, you follow the previous. The previous will take you to k. And then from there, you update the next of k. Okay. So now, you want to change that to point to s, which is correct. So you do the first one. That one is not correct. OK? And then what next? Tail, previous, you want to change that to point to here, correct. Now, how do you link up that and that? S previous is K. S previous is, how do I know the address of that one? We lost it. We lost it. So we have to do it first. Okay? So then what you want to do is what? S that previous is what? Yeah. Good. And then S next is tail. tail. Good. Okay. You know how to work with linked lists, right? So top front is the opposite. Top front is delete the first item. So you know how to work the the linkage. So I'm not going to write the code here. So then assume that the the code for top front is there, and you have that correct. Okay. Now again. My goal is to design an iterator for a linked list. Okay, how do I do it? I need to declare an iterator, and uh, so let, let me create a class again. Okay, so now I don't have to use GVSU iterator. So you know that iterator is just a class. So what I'm doing here is I'm declaring. I'm using a forward declaration in C or C++. My design may take like 50 lines maybe, or 40 lines. I don't want to clutter the code here. So I just declare the class without declaring the body. So this is known as forward declaration. So my, my actual class will be below. Okay, my, my, my actual definition will be down here. Okay, this will be the same as how I declare node. Node is an inner class of list, and it is a template. So then I'm going to copy the template de declaration for my uh, iterator. Justin, you have a question? Yeah, is it just good form to have your class declaration at the top, or could you just declare it at the bottom and have the bottom top? Uh, without the forward declaration up here, yeah. uh, your compiler will complain at line, uh, we don't use it yet, but well, later we're going to use it inside because we need to add begin and end. Okay, we, we need to begin. We need to add begin and end in there. We don't have it yet. Okay. But if you wanted to put it at the top, you wouldn't have to declare it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you know the trick. My iterator. I need to write a constructor, same as what it was as what I did before, right? I need to pass something in there. Okay. Yep. 
and uh, iterator, the constructor, and I need to declare a private, this is like a public constructor, and I need to declare a private uh, data, and the data will be what? Pointer to? Node. Current. Okay, make sense? So I know that my iterator constructor will take a node pointer, and I just need to initialize iterator, thank you. Okay. Uh, so let me just write the begin, and now you know how to write the begin. Begin is just an iterator, it, a function that will return an iterator. Let me use the const for now, or maybe the non-const. Okay, and what do I need to do is what? Return what? Iterator. I need to pass the address of which element? Head.next. Head Head.next, right? Because remember my diagram? Begin, begin has to return that address, <coughs> that item. So head, follow the next from head, okay? So then my iterator here will have to say head that next, okay? That's how I do begin and, uh, and let me complete the plus plus in here. So you know, you know how to do plus plus. So the plus plus will be iterator, uh, iterator reference operate the plus plus, this is for the prefix. And what, what do I return? Uh, what do I do? I need to update current to? Yes, I need to advance current to the next item, right? Okay, so then I just say current next. Okay, and then I have to say return this. So, I'm hoping that you can complete the rest. Yes, Joshua. Why in begin do you return um, a copy, but in the plus um, plus you return how to address? Ah, uh, good question, good question. Why do we, okay, let me fix the error here first. Let me return, uh, what's wrong? Uh, return, start this, maybe I need to recompile. Okay, good question. Why do I want to return a copy? Because you create a new object. That object is local, right? That object is local. So then when you create a local object, when you return, you need to return a copy. Okay. If you return a reference, then that will be a dangling reference because your local object will disappear. Oh. Because that, remember, local object is created on your stack. Right? Okay? So I'm hoping that you know how to complete the rest. Okay? So uh, the let me let me just use one more. And then I will let you go. So what do I do for my oops? What do I do for my uh, operator operator star? What is the what is the return value? reference and what do I return current what do I want to return here it should give you the data. item in your node exactly so then I want to return data right because the item in your node is here so that's why I want to return current arrow data 